Alrighty, my name is Brad, and I'm here for New Hollywood Gaming, starting a new Let's Play today of Bioshock Infinite. Not sure what day this will be uploaded, um, but yeah, starting a new thing of Bioshock. I already know everything about the storyline, so at this point, it's basically just a formality of me playing, because I really, really like this game. But alright, I play with my games really bright, so I'm going to just turn that up basically all the way. I'm going to just leave it, because uh, that's just how the HUD will appear. I'm going to turn down the brightness a bit, actually. Sorry about that. It looks washed out. Brightness settings. Yeah, let's edit that. Uh, to see Bioshock as intended, please adjust the brightness layer until the middle square is barely visible. I'm going to consider that barely br visible. Wait, what's it? Oh, I thought that meant auto-adjust. Um, yeah, I'm going to consider that barely visible. Because, again, I like to play with my games pretty bright, but I try not to wash out the colors too much. Anyway, uh, sorry about this rambling. Let's get to the start of the game. New game. I know what I'm doing as far as playing on, so I'm just going to play on medium. Uh, I play first-person shooters. If you've seen the Call of Duty series, yeah. But anyway, um, this intro's pretty cool. I'm going to make this a uh, 15-minute episode like all my Let's Plays. So, I must set an alarm. Well, at this point, it'll be 16, because I just set the alarm for 15. Anyway, uh, I'm going to shut up during this little intro bit. So, have fun listening. Booker, are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? I planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No, We're right. never going to get there. No, I mean, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. Okay, that's basically the end of this little banter at the beginning. So I forgot, totally forgot, I have to put on my subtitles for you guys. Um, We've arrived. All right, now I know for a fact there's stuff over here. I've seen people play the beginning of this game so many times. Hey, somebody meeting me here? Oh yeah. I certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Yeah. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Uh, knowing everything about this game, I'm gonna try very hard to not give away anything too important about the plot. Uh, during this, I want you guys to experience it for the first time. Well, unnecessarily for the first time, but. Yeah. Um, I, I'd like it if you guys would be able to experience this relatively new. Excuse me. It's Booker DeWitt. I, I guess you're expecting me? That's what we look like. Good luck with that, pal. Why, thank you. All right. Now... I need to look around for stuff, because this part, I never really pay attention to if they find anything. I'll take a can of beans. What difference does it make? I mean, really. From Sodom shall I leave? 
Is anyone here? Hello? Okay, is it just me or does that kind of look like the Batman symbol? Every time I've seen this, that's my thought, and I, I'd like to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below if you think that also looks... If you also think that looks like Batman. Yeah, that's what I'm going for here. Alright. Is that what I can do? Alright. What am I... Missing? It totally just said something like, pick up wallet. There it is. Yeah, money's scarce in this game, so I gotta try and go as slowly as possible. Ha! I will run up your motherfucking water bill. I'm pretty fucking hardcore. Alright, anyway. Let's go upstairs, and things are about to get really sketchy. To thine own land shall I take thee. Blood on the wall. Blood and oh shit. I like how that's his only reaction, just shit, man, not again, what the fuck, dude, the insurance on this place is gonna be so damn high, 14 people killed, all at once, no, anyway, uh, luckily I don't actually have to remember any of this. Wait a minute, that card. Alright. Every time I see people do that, they always do it in the least musical way humanly possible. I at least tried. Yeah, this is some weird shit. I don't even understand what's happening, to be honest with you. Can I get that? No. Right, let's just wait here. Let's go! Now, I've never actually played this game, although I've seen tons of stuff on it. I saw my friend beat it, and I was watching SSO HPKC. If you don't know him, look him up, he's awesome. Although, I'm assuming you probably do, because most of the ways that I get people to watch the videos is I message people that watch his videos. But yeah, anyway, um, you should watch his videos, he's great. But I was watching him playing this, and uh, no one I've ever seen has done that ringing of the bell thing now. All right. Magically? That is not what I meant. Sure. I meant musically, but okay. I did it magically, I guess. So now. What the hell? Now, of course, something bad's gonna happen. Let's see. Let's see. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, I'm gonna go with dropping the only weapon that we have. Let's see. Shit! Yeah. As we rock it up. Imagine how scary this would be. Like if this just happened to you. Like I would freak the fuck out. But then we get to possibly the coolest place quote-unquote, on Earth. I should say above Earth, technically, because this is floating in the air, in case you didn't realize that by the whole rocketing up to this place. The place is called Columbia, by the way. Yeah, this is, uh, the very boring part of the game. Trust me, it gets better. Father Comstock. Wow, I wonder if he'll be. Wink. I'm just, I'm a douchebag. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah. Uh, I, I if I wasn't a douchebag enough for saying something just then, you should see what I'm about to do. I'm gonna go raid a church for all of the money I can find. Why would he send us his savior onto us? I read that wrong. If we'll not raise a finger for our sal own salvation. And though we deserved it, not his mercy, he has led us to this new Eden. A last chance for redemption. Yep. Now we get to go to the church. And at the end of the game, there's something I want to bring up. 
I won't do it, obviously, because that's to do with the end of the game. But if you guys can, remind me. Uh, and the prophet shall lead the people to the new Eden. Yeah. Anyway, um, if you can, remind me. Like, comments, maybe. Second to last episode or something. I know you guys won't remember if I won't remember. But there's something I wanted to bring up related to this part of the game. The church. All you would have to say is the church. I probably remember. Because there's something that I find inconsistent. But other than that, this is a really awesome game plot line. Just wait, guys. You're going to have your mind blown. Press up to help navigate you to your current objective. So I'm supposed to go that way. So let's see. Is there anywhere I can go over this way? This is how... I was watching my friend play this way. He was like, oh, I'm supposed to go that way? Well, let's not go that way. Let's go the other way. And it led him to find lots and lots of food. So let's see. While I go casually raid a church. For all of its belongings. They don't need it. Okay? I'm actually going to use this money for important things, like buying weapon upgrades. Excuse me. No. Where am I? Heaven. You are not in heaven. Let's keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. Okay, let's see. This is so, like, I feel as though this is blasphemy at its greatest. I mean, really, stealing from a church? This is such a scumbag move, really. But, like I said, I don't really care. Oh, listen to this. These are box phones. It's gonna play? Oh, I have to hit down. Love the prophet because he makes out of this place. Love the sinner because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin. Grace has forgiveness. Those are called Vox phones. They're like little audio logs you can find throughout the uh, game. Yeah. And every year on this day, can I get over here? We recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Compson. We recommit through sacrifice. And the giving of thanks, and by submerging ourselves in the sweet. Is it someone new? Someone from the sodden below? Newly come to Colombia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord? I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Colombia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Uh, no, I could, I could always just try and glitch my way through. Sorry about this, you turn around and get back on that rocket. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. If you're not Christian or whatever, and you have to, uh, see this, I know this was a thing when the game came out, people were, like, upset about this. Don't know why, but yeah, you have to get baptized. So, to be more specific, the thing that I have a question, quote-unquote, about is the baptism, which I will bring up at the end of the game. I'm thinking after I actually beat the game, I'll make a last episode of this series, called Bioshock Infinite Explained because there's this really great theory on the entire game that I saw online that I'd like to explain to you guys. Anyway, very important flashback here. Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the deck. What do you want? We've got a deal to it. Open this door right now. So Yeah, if you're wondering about what that was, so am I. I have never been able to figure out exactly what that was, but I have a general idea. No. Alright, before I continue any further, I'm just going to end this off. Because it seems like a good point in time to. We finally made it to the place where this game takes place, aka Columbia. If you like this video, feel free to drop it a like. Uh, if you like this game, feel free to drop it a like. Uh, subscribe if you want more content similar to this, because I will be posting tons and tons of new Bioshock stuff 
on almost a daily basis probably. I'm going to put Skyrim on a hold, I think, because I've played through Skyrim, never played through this game, even though I do know what it's about. But yeah, uh, so uh, subscribe to the channel for more content. Feel free to drop this a like. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or queries, uh, leave them in the comment section below. My name is Brad, and I will see you guys next time.